I'm going to demonstrate some measurements with the adjustable current source we presented in the April issue of this year in our magazine Elector. This instrument contains a voltmeter which shows uh, the voltage across these two terminals. Uh, there is one dial for adjusting the clamping voltage across the device under test. Here we can select the range of the voltmeter and uh, measure the batteries, battery voltage inside and measure the clamping voltage. And the two dials here are used to uh, adjust the current this instrument is going to deliver. First let's start with a rather simple measurement. I have a small diode here connected in reverse and we see that there's uh, 17 volts across this diode. The current source is set to 10 nanoampere and let's see what it does when I heat this diode. Uh, we can see that the leakage current will exceed 10 nanoampere and you can see that when this LED of the clamping voltage will go out. In this measurement we're going to show how to use this instrument to match diodes, the brightness of diodes uh, conducting the same current. The LEDs are connected in series and the brightness is quite the same. If I change this one with the other LED, you may see that the brightness is quite different from the other three. So you can use this to match LEDs uh, to have the same brightness. In this measurement, uh, the instrument is used to measure a resistance of uh, 50 mega ohm. If we put the, the instrument at 10 nano ampere, you can see that there's uh, 500 millivolts across. So the reading of the voltage meter equals uh, 1 volt per mega ohm. Now I'm going to demonstrate the use of this instrument as a high impedance voltmeter. As you can see I have connected two pen light batteries and I measure the voltage it's 2.96 volts and now I can show that there is virtually no current flowing into this voltmeter because when I connect a 20 uh, 22 mega ohm resistor in series you'll see that the reading is exactly the same so there's no current flowing through this resistor and hardly any voltage drop across the resistor I can compare this to a normal digital multimeter without the resistor you see that the voltage is about the same a bit even a bit lower than with our voltmeter but when I connect this 22 mega ohm resistor in series you will see that the voltage drops that is because there's current flowing from the batteries into the meter and there's a voltage drop across the 22 mega ohm resistor okay next we have a, a 3.9 volt Zener uh, diode connected in reverse we can measure the voltage as a function of the current flowing through this uh, diode. Now I have it at 20 milliamps. Uh, when I go back here at 5 milliamps, you can see that the voltage varies as a function of the current flowing through it. Now we are going to measure the avalanche voltage of a base emitter junction of a simple NPN transistor. I've uh, connected the emitter base junction in reverse and uh, set the current source to 100 microampere. When I turn up the voltage you will see that the voltage increases until I reach the avalanche voltage. Well it will remain at about 8 volts and you can see also that the 
clamping LED will switch on and off at the average voltage.